Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today we're going to do something really interesting and cool. I'm going to show you how to change the themes behind Jupyter Notebooks. So when you look at it, you're not looking at that standard bright uh, theme, and you can change it to a dark theme, a lighter theme, whatever you want. And there's a bunch of themes you can choose from. So I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you all the code. We're going to go through it right now. So right now, as you're looking at this, this is not your regular theme in Python 3. This one's actually called, I believe it's grade 3 which is a little bit orangey tinted and gray and it's lighter colored, but it's not super bright or anything like that. So if you like that one's grade three, there's a bunch of machine how this all works. So first, if you don't have Jupyter themes, which is a library, you need to use this code right here for the exclamation mark to the right of pip three install Jupyter themes. Now, this is the same way you install pandas and numpy and all the rest. So it's the same type of concept. Once you have it installed, then you will run import Jupyter themes, just like this. Once you have imported it, it won't really tell you a whole lot there, it'll just import it. Now, you can get the usage, the choices, the switches. And for DOS people, they call them switches. For other people, they call them choices or uh, modifications or customizations. So basically, you hit not, you know, the exclamation mark JT, negative one. So this right here. You hit this, and this will give you all the switches, which is right here. So if you see this, there's a bunch of them. There's math, font size, margins, all this stuff. But what you really boils down to, you really need these three guys. Well, and this one right here, the T theme. You need to have that because obviously you're not going to change the theme if you don't put one in there. And then this one, which is your toolbars and your logos. You need to have that. Okay, your toolbars are these guys right up here. If you do not use these or implement these, the problem is you will not have this toolbar area here, and you won't be able to re-put it in with until you go back to the original default view. So, now that you've got those, let's go and see what the themes are that are available. So just like you just did that not JT negative one, we're gonna do that, this is not a one, this is an L. So not JT, and then uh, negative L is the list. It's the option, we're choosing the L option, which is to list the available themes. Right now, I have nine themes available. Chesterish, grade three, all these guys you can see right here. Let me just highlight this for you right here. Monokai, One Dork, Solar Eyes. A lot of people like the darker themes like Ocean 16, which is like a bluish, oceany type feel. Um, you can pick whatever you want. Obviously, if it's got a D after it at the end, that's a darker theme. So Grubbox D and Solarized D are the, are the darker, or darker themes. Once you have figured out what you want to do there, or if you want to try some, then you go to this snippet of code right here. So basically what you're going to be doing here is these three lines right, from Jupyter themes, import get underscore themes. So we're taking from Jupyter themes, which we've already imported, and we're going to get this sub library called get themes. Then we're going to import Jupyter themes as JT. And then from Jupyter themes dot style FX, we're going to import set underscore NB underscore theme. So once you have those three lines of code, you put this in the same cell, then you put this below it, so the fourth line. This is the important one. This is the one that changes your theme, but it won't do it right away, and I'm going to show you why. So we put not, or the exclamation mark, JT, a negative T, which is what we've showed you above, which is to bring in the theme, which is in this case we're using grade three, as we have right here an orangey type grade with orange and gray. Um, negative T. So you, you want to have your toolbars. That's these guys right here. If you don't include that, you will not have those, and you won't be able to get them in until you revert back to the default. And these guys right here are your logos. So like this right here, you will see that. Okay, so if you run that, once you run it, it won't change anything. Then you have to hit this refresh. Once you've changed the theme like I have here, and you want to go back and revert back to the default. You hit this exclamation mark, JT space, R revert back to the default. So if I run this, right, just hit run here, or I can hit run right here. Once I run that, I get these three lines of code underneath, which is reset CSS and font details in blah, 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 where you have your extensions listed and stuff. So once I've done that, I have to go to my browser and hit the refresh. In this case, I'm using Microsoft Edge. So I'm hitting the refresh, hit reload, and boom, I'm right back to the default setting of Jupyter Notebook. So if you don't like this and the way it looks, you can pick grade three or any of these other ones. So grade three is the one I already had on there. Let's say I want a darker theme like Ocean 16. Ocean 16 is dark, 
Um, can copy that, get rid of this. And we can put this right over here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, put that right there. So we're going to do Ocean 16, same thing, run it. And now that we've run it, see I didn't change anything. But once I go up here, I hit refresh, reload site, make sure it's done thinking. Okay, once it's done and you see this orange textbook, sometimes you'll see it spinning like you just did. Sometimes you'll see an hourglass there. See so yeah, those two, just wait. And then once it's done, hit refresh. And there it is. Now we've got the um, Ocean 16, which is a bluish, blackish, if you like a darker uh Color. You can also, and I recommend between each theme, so if you're switching themes, go and hit back to the default because it will get stuck every once in a while. You'll find all of a sudden, you'll be like, wait, these all look the same because it got stuck. So what you have to do is do this refresh one right here, the exclamation mark JT space dash R. Hit run that. Then make sure this isn't spinning or anything else. Hit refresh your uh, reload. Oops, see it's spinning up there now. Reload. Give it a second, boom, and then you go back to the beginning. And then if I wanted to go back to that grade three one, I think it was called, which wasn't too bad to look at. If I run that same thing, a same cell, watch this, I run that. Give it a second, it has the hourglass there, it's done, it's ready for me to load it and reload and give it a second and there it is. Now I'm back in the grade three uh, theme. So that's basically how you do it. This is how you revert back. The original and this is very important this end piece right here to it because that's what gives me the toolbar here and the logos and the familiar stuff i'm used to without that i can't go into view and toggle the toolbars i mean i can click on this but it's not going to bring them back if i don't have this on there i have to then go back to the default and i'll have them there and then i have to go and redo it correctly with the negative t the negative n and the negative kl they're not really negatives or switches uh, an old DOS type uh, system command prompt code. Well, I hope you found this interesting and informational. You now know how to change your Jupyter Notebooks to look in a different way and have different themes to them. Please take a moment to, to subscribe, like, and share. And please be sure and check out all the other great videos I have on my channel. We have lots of videos on data science, data analytics, analytics, uh, coding, programming, Power BI, dashboards, all kinds of stuff, cool stuff for you to learn, R, coding, all kinds of stuff. Thanks again for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day. Thank you.